So, today, for you guys on single player, I have what I would consider to be a real treat. Uh, it's one of my personal favorite games ever made. Uh, I have always adored this game, and the other day I was snooping around the internet, and I discovered that they are in the works of another of the incredible Pikmin series games. They didn't announce any kind of official information about when or when it may not come out or whatever, but there's a chance there's going to be a new one, you know, within the next couple of years, and I've always been such a big fan of these games. Um, I can remember growing up playing these games and loving being Captain Olimar and all those kind of things, although I would never be him in Smash. I hate him in Smash so much. A lot of people are really good with him in Smash, but I am not. Nevertheless, uh, the story is really unimportant. It was always pretty convoluted to me because he crash lands on Earth, but I've never seen Pikmin on Earth, nor have I ever seen the strange mushroom things that happen. It's very odd, it's very strange, but it's a crazy story, I guess. So, yeah, basically he crash lands and all of his ship is torn to pieces. And uh, so you are, you are found on this impact site where you, Olimar, have to find all of these parts and you need help because it's a dangerous, dangerous land. I think that if, if there was anything amazing about this game, uh, oh, there he goes. He's like, oh, no. If there's anything that is the most incredible about this game, it is the soundtrack. I don't know how well you guys can hear it, but it was it's, it's an awesome soundtrack. So while traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out. I woke on the surface of a weird planet, or Earth. With so many parts lost, the skill to hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. So, he can only, so basically, he can only do this in 30 days. So it made a time limit factor on it, which made it just that much better. So I gotta go find the Pikmin. I forget where he was. Is there a way to zoom out? I felt like there was a way to zoom out in this game. Oh, well, there we go. So now I've discovered the little Pikmin hut. This game was super fascinating because it was so unlike anything that had ever been done before. It was the first of its kind, really. Um, you know, this, this military-based game where you literally just recruit all of these different little critters and you have to wait for them to grow and there's, there's time limits and there's everything. I mean, it's, it's really just such a smart game. A little, a little pro tip here, if you wanted to, you could wait for like a good little while and his leaf will grow into a flower. I don't know if I'm gonna let him wait. And they'll be faster if they have little flower heads. He likes to write in his little journal, um, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hook it up ground. So there we go, I got one little red Pikmin. And I love these little cutscenes every single time where I did the adorable little cutscenes of like, this one has a little nose. And so the name comes from, like is what it says here, the name comes from the carrots that he loves back on his own planet known as Pick Pick Brand Carrots. They look like carrots, so he names them after them. So yes, there's a lot of controls as far as these guys go. A lot of different things. Yeah, I knew I could control the camera. Only I mean I had the camera set up right on this. Oh, well. I seem to remember I could like chuck them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so we can climb different areas, things like that. <laughs> There's this little whistle that it just makes this little marching sound for whatever reason. And whenever they do that, they like, you can guide and direct them in a circle. So it's always pretty nice. So anyway, yeah, I get the cutscene. I already know all that stuff. I wanted to attack this flower. Because I'm making more Pikmin today, yo. Come on, grab this thing. Okay, so it just takes one to carry it. If you wanted to, whenever I start getting more and more Pikmin, if I want it to really start doing stuff, it'll go much faster if I assign more than one. I probably should have played something a little more interesting than the tutorial level. Maybe what I'll do is I will, I'll play this game some, I'll give it some time, and then I'll post another video of how far I've gotten and show you guys some fun stuff. But I just remember loving this game. I remember it being so fun and so silly and so artistic 
It's, uh, I don't know, it's very different, that's for sure. Day one is always pretty nice to try and do as much as you can because you have just tons of time. Oh, there's a piece, there's something I need. Oh, there's little bugs in these flowers. And there was so much about this game that I just do not even remember. I remember there was a way that you could like rustle around in these leaves and stuff. And if you rustle around in them enough, like honey or something would come out. And remember the honey came out, they could suck it up and automatically all become flowers or something along those lines. See, I mean, look at all these red guys that I've got already. I've already got all these big boys over here. So I need 10 of the red guys to weigh down this box and to crush it. I know that you may be wondering why I'm not going ahead and plucking the red guys. I'm going to see if I can't wait for them to grow flowers. Or at least buds or something. Come here, buddy. And sometimes Pikmin are just bothers. I don't want to make you guys wait. By the way, if you kept pressing A whenever you were picking things, it would just keep going. You wouldn't have to pick each one individually. It would just be kind of like a constant loop. It was a pretty nice way to do things. So yeah, see I can assign more than five and it'll go much faster than if I only assign five to it. But it'll give me 10 Pikmin for this five block, I'm pretty sure, which is pretty convenient. Also, it won't let me assign, oh yeah, it will. It'll let me assign nine. So anyway, eventually in the game, it's pretty cool. You get two different types of Pikmin and all the Pikmin can do different things. They all have different kinds of advantages. So for instance, the red pigmen can do things that uh, that are about around heat. So they're better able and better prepared whenever it comes to um, come here. Whenever it comes to uh, like these flamey rock things that happen that you happen upon eventually, it allows you to be able to do that and be able to use those, which is pretty convenient. There we go. Okay, I thought they squashed the box. They just pushed it out of the way. And I love this game. This game was so adorable whenever I was a kid. This is like, this is the game that I would always rent from the Blockbuster and, you know, prepare to play my whole week. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh, there I go. I found a piece. Found a piece of my machine. My engine. It's amazing looking back at this game and realizing that these graphics are not as incredible as I thought they were because I remember thinking, okay, I need 20 Pikmin, so I'm gonna need some, uh, I'm gonna need some milk. I remember just thinking this game was just the most incredible, I mean, it was just like, this game was what games were supposed to be. It's how they were supposed to look, and it was like, nothing could ever look better than this. Like, this was, this itself was better than Hey You Pikachu as far as I was concerned. And that was a big step for me. It was a big thing for me to admit to myself. So I don't know, games like this, they're fun, they're silly, they're exciting, and most importantly, they're creative. I feel like that's kind of, um, I don't know, I feel like that's what big companies have kind of lost in their current days. They, they aren't as interested in creating unique experiences as they are in creating a good seller and something that'll really make them some money. I don't know. I, uh, I kind of think this is where the indie market is, is kind of advantageous and this is where indie games come in, in handy because they are the creative games. They're the creative juices as opposed to they're not worried about how much money they're gonna make. They're worried about, you know, bigger deals, bigger items as far as making something that they're proud of and making something that kind of revolutionizes whatever they're doing. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about that and if you agree with what I'm saying. If you don't, I'm even more interested to hear what you have to say. But I don't know. I think that there are advantages and disadvantages to kind of the level of processors that we have nowadays and the level of systems and business that video game design has become. But I kind of miss the good old days. Remember it was just a bunch of people in a room coming up with these weird weird, weird, weird games, you know? But I, as far as my own personal experiences, I've always been a bigger fan of weird games. So it's games like this, it's games like Katamari Damashi and uh, just the weird games, just strange stories that aren't like everything else. I mean, what is this little seed pod thing? Who has ever seen a little seed pod thing? No one. 
There's things like this that just fascinate me and make me want to go back and play a game again and really add up to the playability. So, let me know what you guys think about Pikmin. If you enjoyed it whenever you were a kid, if it was your number one blockbuster pick, or if you had something else that might have been on your mind. Um, let me know what you're thinking about Pikmin 4 and if you think it's going to be amazing and incredible or if you think it's going to be just more rehashing of the same old story with some subtle new characters who really aren't that interesting when you get down to it. I don't know. I don't know what it'll be exactly, but I know that if I am able to, I will definitely look into playing this game because I have a big passion for Pikmin. Uh, between, between the soundtrack and the art style and the gameplay, um, I've always found this game really fascinating and fun, and I definitely plan on continuing to check it out and to play more of them. So I hope that you guys will join me as I go down that path of video gamedom, um, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode of Pikmin. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please let me know and I'll put out more of these because I think they're fun to make and I adore this game, so if you want to see more, let me know. I'd love to put out more. Um, otherwise. I'm just going to let Olimar try and escape from here on his own in 30 days, and who knows? Maybe he will, maybe he won't. You never really know, do you? But we haven't even met the Beard Mushroom creatures yet, so I definitely want to play more of this game. Great stuff. I love Pikmin. Please uh, check out Pikmin if you want. Otherwise, play Pikmin 2 or Pikmin 3, and let me know what you're thinking about Pikmin 4. Thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it.